Okay, you guys and gals, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today. Once again, there's a shit ton of the last Naruto the movie news today, which is good because today I'm the milkman. My job is to bring you guys milk to make sure that you are taking care of your bones. So the thing here is this. I am bringing you guys once again Naruto the last Naruto the movie news. And the link is going to be in the box below on Anime News Network. The title of the article is as follows. The last Naruto the movie cast Jun Fujiyama as new character. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read through the article. Uh, I think like the first three or four paragraphs, and then we're going to call it a day with that. So let's just dive right in. This year's 49th issue of Shueisha's Weekly Shonen Jump magazine is announcing on Saturday that Jun Fukuyama is joining the cast of the last Naruto the movie. Fukuyama will play Toniri Otsutsuki, a mysterious man, with Otsutsuki lineage. The magazine teases that he has a major link, duh, obviously, a major link to the movie plot, which has the moon moving perilously closer to Earth. Uh, Fukuyama stated that when he heard that Naruto was ending, he uttered, finally, like everyone else on planet Earth, in surprise. As a reader himself, he took the news as a shock since this epic, quote-unquote, <laughs> epic work is approaching a finale. He asked fans to enjoy the movie when it comes out. Weekly Shonen Jump unveiling a new visual for the movie. The caption notes that the movie will depict the final decisive battle between Naruto and the one with the bloodline of the Sage of Six Paths. And for as far as we know, it could be like... For, it could be the Sage Six Paths, like, illegitimate son. Or it could be... You know, let me say that for the other part. Moving on. Weekly Shonen Jump and J-Books describes the story of the movie and its novelization. The moon has begun moving closer to Earth as it is the moon will crumble and meteorites will rain down on Earth's surface. As the last days of Earth approach, Hanabi Hyuga is abducted by a mysterious man in Konoha, and Naruto, Sakura, Sai, Shikamaru, and Hinata set off on a rescue mission. Can Naruto and the others overcome this crisis? When it comes to the, the, the villain, the Otsutsuki bloodline, or Toniri, thing here is this. Honestly, again, we don't know if it's Homura. First of all, we obviously, because he may have changed his name. Therefore, him being Homura is unlikely. However, is possible. Change his name to Homura. I'm the sage's bro, and I'm straight up evil. What now? What up now, Dad? And he kind of has, oh, well, he's missing the horns, obviously, but those could have been fixed or mended over the course of time. Again, very possible. However, odds are is that he is either related to, like, for example, either Kagu had a third son that no one knew about, and she kept that shit secret, or it is so it is one of the sages son either it's Hamura's son or it is uh Hagoromo's son and that's also very possible as well now when you look at the actual image of this guy he has the byakugan it looks like he has the byakugan and he has that emblem on his so the emblem on his back with the moon and like the sun thing the orb which i think is the sun inside the moon a crescent moon the thing here is that he obviously has that whole yin and yang, like, ultimate zenith pinnacle skill going on. At least that's my assumption. My my assumption as well is the fact that this guy is the reason why the moon's coming down. And he steals Hanabi Hyuga. We don't know why. Like, maybe... Because Hanabi, I think, is special among the Hyuga. To my recollection, she is, kind of, maybe. I think I was, that was, like, kind of hinted. Where she had, like, unusual skill. Because ne Neji had skill... But she had, like, unusual skill as well. Like, she could punk Hinata when she was, like, three years old and fighting. Like, some shit like that. Whatever. So, whether or not Hinabi has an actual legitimate, decent role in the reason why the moon's bring, being brung down in the first place, don't know. Does her existence augment the powers of uh, Toniri? No, no idea. No, no idea. No idea. So, thing here is that the pl when it comes to how it's going to roll out specifically, it's still very vague. We're just getting a general gist of the plot and who this mysterious character is and who the voice actor is of this mysterious character. This guy, he's just someone who wants to take revenge 
for Kaguya. Unless, I mean, why would he bring down the moon? I mean, unless, unless he is the complete inverse. Where the moon is coming down naturally, but he's trying to save the planet. Which I highly, highly doubt. So that's the article right there. And I will see you guys later. So, and also, apparently someone sent me a link to a photo of one of the chapters in Naruto. Where in one of the chapters, one of the final chapters of Naruto, when Naruto was talking to Obito, you see, like, this small man in, like, the back somewhere. And I was like, it's fascinating, but I wouldn't think too much of it, to be quite honest. But that's just me. So, whatever, who knows. Maybe Kishimoto put that there intentionally, so when you go, when the movie starts off, we're going to see this guy watching his mom, or maybe his grandma, who knows, fight against Naruto and company. So he was trapped there, maybe by Kaguya herself. And then, what happened is, when the stations passed, summoned everyone back, he summoned him back unintentionally. But then the question here is this. So then if he was summoned back unintentionally, then how come they didn't sense him? You know, like some shit like that. So there are a lot of things that you, that you, that you got to question and wonder. But again, we're going to find out when the movie comes out. So King Lightning, that's the article. Once again, the box below. Rate the video. Comment, subscribe. Peace. Have a nice day.